Hi guys, this is a tutorial on uh, FXGL cutscenes. We're going to look um, at the format, the text format that is used to define a cutscene plain text, and then how we can use it to load it into the game and then um, actually play the cutscene. So, first of all, this is what we have. It's a sample for the cutscene from the FXGL samples uh, module. Uh, that is self-explanatory. That too. We just set the background color of the game scene to uh, light gray. So let me run the game and you'll see a window which is 720p uh, with light gray uh, background for the game scene. Now, the important bit is here in initialize input. So on key down, when we press F, actually we don't even need this. When we press F, this is the bit of code that is going to run. <clears throat> it has three parts or three lines of code. First of all, we ask the asset loader to load plain text format. Plain text, uh, which is .txt in this case, is loaded as a list of strings. So you could rename this to the list of strings. Which we are then passing to this cutscene object, which expects a list of strings, uh, which are the lines in your plain text document, plain text file. This gives us back a cutscene object, which we can then pass to the get cutscene service start cutscene. Cutscene is like some narrative that's provided to the player, but the player has no control over it, as in they can't really talk to NPCs. If you want the talking feature, then it's a dialogue system that you're looking for, which is not in the scope of this tutorial. We'll cover dialogue systems uh, at some later stage. Right, so we've covered the API, which is just three lines of code, uh, which you can merge, I guess, if you want to see. So I'm going to press F now. I'll just very quickly go through this uh, sample cutscene. So you can see that we have, um, this is version two of the API. So still are things, uh, things are still in the development phase. So they can be improved if needed. We have the avatar uh, image, which is basically the image of the speaker. Uh, we have the name of the speaker and also the text. You can have text with name but no image, and you can also have um, you can also rename people, as in um, at runtime. We can introduce new people to the cutscene. And that is pretty much it, I think, at the moment. So this is how cutscene works. Now let's have a look at the plain text format. You can find this format um, on FXGL Wiki, uh, and it will be updated as needed. So uh, let's go through this. Let's create a new um, plain text cutscene and then load that into our game, our sample. I think this will cover most of what you can do with cutscenes. So in this plain text format, comments begin with either uh, forward two forward slashes, like in any uh, common programming language, although this may not be true. But certainly in Java, this is a comment. Uh, hashtag is also a comment line. Then we are adding the first person talking. This is an identifier for the person talking. It could be anything. It doesn't have to be uh, a digit. And then dot name means you're giving the name uh, for that person or you're giving the name to that thing, to that object that is going to be doing something. So you can see this is like JavaScript. You're adding fields to an object at runtime. And that is pretty much it. Um, the format is supposed to be simple. 
So I'm not going to introduce anything more complex than just being able to add um, and change fields at runtime. Like it's not going to have functions or anything. Similarly, second person dot image is how you assign images. These things are going to be searched from the usual place, which is assets forward slash textures. So we have a bunch of textures in there. So if I replace this with something like brick PNG and then run our sample, then you might expect the first person to have the brick image. There you go. You can leave uh, things blank. They will be parsed as just empty. So here, image we're saying there is no image, there's no portrait. And then the actual text is this is how the format goes. You have the identifier, which in this case just one, um, a colon followed by the uh, text that you want to, um, the cutscene to have. So that person is saying this and that person is saying that. So it's quite, you know, I want to say intuitive because you don't want anything complex and this is, it kind of works like plain text format. Then you can introduce new people at runtime. Uh, you can just define new identifiers. You can add, again, name, image. Um, name and image are, I think, the only thing, they, the only properties that you can add. So I think that is fine. So let's create another one. Let's add new file, uh, example, cutscene 2txt You'll note that these files are under resources, assets, text, which is again normal for FXGL. It's the standard uh, directory structure where load text will um, search your files. So if you want to load text, then your text file must be under uh, assets text. And if it's some, somewhere else, then you can provide a URL object. So FXGL can now load from relative paths as well as absolute paths. So this needs to change to example cutscene two. And let's start super simple. So let's do main. This is going to be our identifier for the first person talking. Name is, um, I don't know, first name, main, hello, how are you? So let's try that. F. <clears throat> so first name is the name of the object of the speaker that we just added. There is no image because we didn't specify one. And this is the line of text that was there. That's it. That's your entire cutscene. So these are uh, read, parsed, and nothing happens. As in, there is nothing that is shown to the screen. So we can change the name after that to second name. And then let's say um, I have changed my name. So you can see the first name, it says something. I press enter to move to the next line. It changed the name to second name and then it says whatever we just typed. And then let's just add uh, an image. Remember images are uh, located under assets textures. So if we can find full PNG, that's probably too big, but let's use that so you can see the limitations uh, of this. So after the character says this, the image will be changed to that. And then the character can say, I have changed my uh, image. And then uh, we can introduce the second character. 
And that will be it for this tutorial. First line, second line. So after that, it should call this main image ball PNG. So we should see a, uh, an image. Yep, you can see it's too big. Um, I think the default is 256 by 256 that you can fit over here. Uh, sometime in the future, the API may allow you to change the size of portrait mode they expect. I don't know. I mean, you can resize uh, your images at runtime with FXGL if you wanted to. So for now, we're sticking to 256. I have changed my image and that is it. Okay, last thing. Clear the image so that there is no image blocking our view. Let's add the second person. Second. Name. Second person. Second says, um, now I am, can't even think what to add here. Just dummy text, there we go. Another line of dummy text. Let's go with that. Okay, press F to start the cutscene. This happens, this happens, an image appears. The image goes, the second person says dummy text, and then the second person says another line of dummy text, and we finish the cutscene. And that is it. So uh, hopefully this gives you some ideas um, regarding how you might use the cutscene service from FXGL. It's been around for a while, but I haven't um, had time to actually talk about it. So you call the cutscene service, you call start cutscene, and you provide the cutscene object. You can also start a dialogue scene. For that, you'll need a dialogue graph, and we'll um, look at the dialogue creation tool um, at some future point. So I'll just give you an example really quickly, dialogue editor app, of what it looks like. So with cutscenes, uh, they use plain text format. They um, are formatted in the way that I just described. So you have multiple people talking or one person talking to the player, possibly to give some plot points or what to do kind of thing. This is the dialogue editor, which is pretty nice. Uh, you're able to edit, add new things. How do you add text, text, text. So you have um, kind of a two-way conversation where the player can actually choose some dialogue if they wanted to. But anyway, that's for some other time. If you have any questions related to uh, the cutscene in this video, feel free to let me know in the comments. And as the Hack Commit push event nears, which is going to run on uh, May 29th, 2021, I'm going to be uploading um, more tutorials on how to use various features in FXGL to make sure that people can get familiarized with the engine. Okay, thanks for watching. See you later.